in your own words, tell us a little bit about what Promised Land is about. Um, I think it's about what happens when we as individuals become part of our community, like really become part of our community and make decisions from there and make decisions considering our neighbors. Um, it's about a guy who thinks he's got a lot figured out who goes into a small town and kind of gets an education and comes out a different person because of it. Right. Now your character, tell us a little bit about her. She, She's part of the community, but at first she she almost seems a little like too cool to fit in there. How does she really, <laughs> you know, mesh with the community? Well, you know, I, for me it's a little bit like when the new, the new kid shows up in eighth grade and they get a lot of attention. She actually grew up here and moved to the big city and made a life for herself and then her dad died and she came back to to take up the family farm just because she didn't want to be the one to give it up. Um, so I think when she sees Matt Damon's character, Steve, she has a little bit of knowing. You know, he's trying to fit in. He's buying clothes at the local <laughs> store. You know, he and Fran McDormand's character to sort of fit in, and she knows they don't fit in. Right. And she kind of wants to know what his angle is. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you have, and your character has a big old farm in the country. Mm -hmm. Where did you guys film film during, during the movie? We shot just outside of Pittsburgh, um, not in one specific town. Some, we all stayed in Pittsburgh. Sometimes we'd be shooting 45 minutes north, 45 minutes west, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and the countryside was just beautiful. And it, a lot of those farms that we shot on, that they had been in, uh, in the people's families for 100 years. The farm where we shot those baby goats that were chasing Matt out of the yard <laughs> really lived in the house where we shot. Aww. They were just born and they were nursing them. Yeah, those were really cute. I was like, yeah. I'm from a small town, but we didn't have baby girls, yeah. but I wanted one after that. Yeah. How, how do you think the scenery and, and shooting in these small farm towns sort of helped to enhance the, the film? I think it's everything, really, because the way Gus shot it, it, I feel like the land becomes sort of the most important character mm -hmm. in the movie, uh, and it doesn't need any dialogue because it's just so breathtaking to look at. And then just to wrap it up on a little bit of a lighter side, you, your character is wooed by two very handsome gentlemen, right? Matt and John. <laughs> How was it, you know, constantly going to work and so having these two hard. guys pursue you? Yeah, <laughs> so depressing. No, it was so, it was so much fun and they couldn't be nicer mm -hmm. or more hardworking. So it was kind of just like a great day on the tennis court, you know, <laughs> whenever you went to work. 